Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 6.5, The Coordinate Plane Lesson. Pause while you write Section 6.5 Lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use the origin and quadrants to locate points on the coordinate plane. Today we'll be starting on page 276 in your math textbook. Example 1, identifying an ordered pair. Which ordered pair corresponds to point T? So we need to find point T. And it's right there. And it says point T is three units to the right of the origin and three units down. So the X coordinate is three and the Y coordinate is negative three. So the ordered pair is positive three, negative three. And that corresponds to point T. The correct answer is C. Moving on to example two on page 277, we're plotting ordered pairs. We're going to plot point A, negative two, positive three, and point B, zero, negative 3.5 in a coordinate plane. We describe the location of each point. Letter A, we start at the origin and move two units to the left, and then we move three units up. So our point is at negative two, positive three. So that's where we plot our point. And the point is in quadrant two. And for letter B, we start at the origin again that's where we should always start. And we move 3.5 units down. So you'll notice we didn't go anywhere horizontally, and that's because our x-axis point was 0. So we went nowhere horizontally, and we just went down. And we plotted our point, and the point is on the y-axis. So our point is there. And it's on the y-axis. So it's not actually in a quadrant. It is right between quadrants 3 and 4. Example 3, finding distances in the coordinate plane. An archaeologist divides an area using a coordinate plane in which each unit represents 1 meter. The corners of a secret chamber are shown in the graph. What are the dimensions of the secret chamber? The length of the chamber is the distance between negative 4, 5, and 2, 5. The width of the chamber is the distance between 2, 5, and 2, 1. You can use absolute values to find the distances between the points. So, let's look at this. It says, add the absolute values. So, from the absolute value of negative 4, we have 4, and the absolute value of 2 is 2, so that equals 4 plus 2, which equals 6. So that's the length of the chamber, and then it says to subtract the absolute values, we have the absolute value of 5, so that that is from 0 up to 5, and then we're subtracting the absolute value of 1, so that's from 0 up to 1. So that means we're subtracting 5 minus 1, which equals 4. So the width of our chamber is 4 meters. So the secret chamber is 6 meters long and 4 meters wide. On the next page, we have example four. We're going to read the part above it first because that's important. It says, you can use line graphs to display data that is collected over a period of time. Graphing and connecting the ordered pairs can show patterns or trends in the data. This type of line graph is also called a time series graph. Example four is a real life application. A blizzard hits a town at midnight. The table shows the hourly temperatures from midnight to 8 a.m. So we need to look at our table. It shows hours after midnight, which is gonna be shown on the 
x-axis and the temperature which is going to be shown on the y-axis. So letter A, we display the data in a line graph and we write the ordered pairs. So we write everything as an ordered pair. So the x is 0 and the y and the y is 7 for our first ordered pair, and 1 and 5 for our second, 2 and 3 for our third, and so on. Plot and label the ordered pairs, and then connect the ordered pairs with line segments. So you can see how they've plot, plotted and labeled every single ordered pair. So it goes 0, 7, 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 0, 4, negative 1, 5, negative 4, 6, negative 5, 7, negative 2, and 8, 2. Letter B, make three observations from the graph. Three possible observations follow. The hourly temperatures decrease from midnight to 6 a.m. So you can see that they decrease because the slope of the graph is going down. The hourly temperatures increase from 6 to 8 a.m. because the slope is going up. And the greatest decrease in hourly temperatures from one hour to the next is 3 degrees Fahrenheit. This happens twice, from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. and from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. So you can see that in these two spots on the graph, from 2 to 3 and from 4 to 5. And you can see how steep the graph is in those two spots. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 10 below. They are also on pages 276 through 278 of your textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.